Hello, beautiful friends. Thanks for joining me for another video blog. And I want to share something that woke me up in the middle of the night a couple nights ago, which is to share an important message. How important it is for us to move out of survival to our creation state, or if you want to call your genius zone, your thriving zone, a place that you connected with your heart, your soul, which means you connected with your intelligence, with the intelligence of source, with the intelligence of your soul, the intelligence of the cosmos. Because most people are stuck in survival right now, which is a place of the ego, is a place of the archetypes, the archetypes of the victim, the archetypes of the wounded child, the archetypes of the modern, and many other. Just think of like personalities. They not are most intelligent parts. They can assist, but they're not the most intelligent parts. A lot of people are struggling. They are stuck in suffering. So that's like being in fear when you're in survival and being in a state of love and a state of creation. And why is this so important right now? I'm seeing so many people struggling right now, it's struggling financially, it's struggling in relationships, it's struggling to find a new job or to leave their job that it's making them miserable. And a lot of people are not healing. This message is so important. Everything I share, my entire content, my coaching, it's all about this simple framework here. I help people to move from survival to creation. Now, we all know that crossing the line here, this whole thing here is a big journey. There's no, it's not direct, it's not easy. And it comes with a lot of roadblocks to go from this place to this one. So I'm sharing this video. I think I was called to share this because, again, I'm watching a lot of people spiraling right now with chronic stress. Chronic stress is another way to describe the zone of survival. And most people in survival don't really need to be in survival because if we think about the biology of survival which is food shelter and sex but it really is about having people in your life having a community having at least one person that can support you when you need so if you have food you have shelter you have people in your life you can get out of survival and move into this creation because guess what the healing that you're looking for is here the growth you're looking for is here. The courage to change, the energy to change is here. Your intuition is here in your creation. So what happens when we're stuck in a zone of survival, we're not creative, we're not intuitive, we're not insightful, we don't have good ideas because everything we do is being driven by fear. And fear creates more fear. Fear is a much lower frequency than love. If love is a higher frequency, and that's why, because everything is energy, it's being in the frequency of love, in the vibration of love. It's being in the vibration that we can heal, we can grow, we can learn, we develop more courage, more confidence, we get in touch with our gut feelings, our intuition. We trust. This is also a place that you trust. Now, what I want to say here is you don't need to be completely across the line to start actually experiencing these qualities here of healing, growth, courage, intuition, trust connection with the divine or connect with your heart, if you will, you can start. It start to take few steps. So what I want to share here with you is not necessarily how you can cross this line because, again, this is a process, it's a journey, 
It can take 10 coaching sessions. It can take 10 years. It can take one medicine journey. It can take 10 medicine journeys. It can take an entire lifetime. It all depends on your imprints and it depends in one of these three factors I'm gonna share with you. The three factors I see more as a, as a way to give you a, a, a quick and simple framework of how you can start taking the steps to cross from survival to the zone of creation. Because again, in the place of survival, you're not gonna find that job that you really want. You're not gonna have the energy to move out of the relationship because you are stuck in fear. And we don't make great decisions in fear. Fear is a great ally. It can be a motivator to change. Fear is a great thing when we truly in survival, we under a threat like there's a fire in the building, or you're in the jungle, or you're lost in a, in a trail, you, you have a gut feeling that something bad might happen. Yeah, fear is an ally. But the psychological fear, experiencing this fear in, in, in deep in the nervous system, is not helping anybody. And it pains me to watch many friends, many clients, many people is stuck in the survival zone. The survival is a biology that is in our brain. We're not gonna lose our survival skills by being creation. They're always gonna be here because it's part of the biology of the brain. It's part of the amygdala. It's part of our pituitary gland or hypothalamus. It's part of the biology of the brain. And it's not a place that you are resourceful because in, play, in, in, in survival, and especially being in the chronic stress, meaning you're always in survival, our brain shrinks. Again, we don't have access to the intelligence of the soul, the intelligence of the heart, the intelligence of the divine. So you keep making decisions out of fear. You keep spiraling with overwhelm, anxiety, some depression, and eventually you can get sick. So this topic is so important to me that I made an entire career teaching people how to cross the line. But again, it's a journey. It's not linear. We can define how long it will take, but this is what we can do. We can take a step every day towards crossing the line. And because it's not linear, a lot of times you might feel that you're in the zone of creation and being right back into fear. But the more time, the more time you spend here, the more you're going to start to embody this space of creation. And when you're back in fear, you're not gonna be there for too long. So it can look like this. You're here for a few seconds and you're right back there. So this becomes your home. And by the way, this is your home. This is your essence. Being in survival, after you have your essential needs met, is not your home. It's a program. It's a program in the collective. It's a program that's imprinted you, that you've been cared from your ancestors, even from your parents, from family members, it's imprinting you. And this video is not about getting to details because that's the, all the content that I create, all the master classes I create are based on how to cross this line. So I wanna give you something in this video. What I wanna give you in this video is something that I was guided by my soul. I sat with my soul, I asked, give me a simple framework to teach people how to start moving out of survival. And you know, there's big conversation about lifestyle, yes, diet, nutrition, I mean, nutrition, hydration, exercise, sleep, the fundamentals. There's a lot of videos in my YouTube channel about that. But then we need to start thinking about the psychology as well. What is the psychology that's keeping us in survival? So here are the three things I wanna share with you. Number one, the power of choice. You need to make a choice to move from survival to creation. You can't just wait for anything to get better. You can't wait for the next president. You can't wait for the weather to change. You can't wait for that personal relationship to change. You can't wait for the market, the industry to change for you to get the dream job. You can't wait for anything. You need to make a choice because again, in survival, you're not resourceful. And what I want, I'm feeling a little sense of urgency here. I wanted to help you to tap into that place of resource. Because when you are here in fear, in the ego, 
The ego is a record of the past. It's a part of our psyche that holds information only about the past. It's a very, very limited source of information, of intelligence. To get into the cosmos, into the intelligence of the cosmos, intelligence of source, God, if you will, you need to get into your heart center. You need to start speaking to your soul, hearing the whispers of the soul, which is the opposite voice of the ego. The ego is going to push you. The ego is going to keep bringing that old paradigm of pushing, hustling, trying harder, working harder. This is not about working harder. We shift in paradigms. What we used to do before to achieve goals no longer works. This is not about working harder anymore because I'm sure many of you are watching this video and working plenty hard and not getting anywhere. I've been there and I know it's debilitating when you're doing everything to make changes and nothing is happening. It can create depression. It can create even more fear. So that's why I'm creating this video here to give you with the intent to give you a little bit of hope. So you need to make a choice to move. You need to make a choice to do things differently. You can't keep doing the same things, expecting things to change. So choice, choice is like when you stand up and you claim that you're going to move from survival. You no longer, you're sick and tired of being survival and you're going to start modifying your lifestyle. You're going to, you start surrounding yourself with material, books, audiobooks, podcasts, videos that lift you up, that inspire you. What can you start doing today that will inspire you? Turn off the news. Yeah, check what's happening in the world. For five minutes, you're going to know what's happening in the world. Turn it off and go learn from the masters, teachers, coaches, mystics. Surround yourself with material. It's like you brainwash yourself. Brainwash the mind of the ego and surround yourself with material that gives you hope, that uplifts you, that are life and dream affirmative. You need to get inspired. Sometimes inspiration is by taking a walk in nature, looking at the fall colors right now. For me, inspiration is sharing this knowledge with you. So make a choice. This is not about trying. This is not about, I'm going to try to change. There is no trying. I think Yoda on Star Wars says that there is no trying. I, I'm not going to try to stand up. I, I can't try to stand up. I'm going to stand up. There is no trying. Make a choice. It's a decision to make a change. And I know it's hard. That's why I advise you to use a lot of, there's a lot of free content that can support you. If you need to work with a life coach, I can support you. Just send me a message or you might be already work with a good therapist, a good life coach, spiritual guide, get help, get somebody, but it doesn't matter who you work with. First of all, you need to make a choice to change and that's going to take energy. That's why you want to make sure your physical health can support because you're going to need resource. You're going to need energy to navigate this journey of crossing the line. Number two, I want to offer you a bridge after you made a choice because you love, you find something you love, you want to change your life. You want to get to the creation zone, which is your nature. So start leaving behind what is not your nature and connect with your true self, your essence, which is creation is your genius zone. Make a choice. Number two, is a quality to cultivate, is an attribute of curiosity. Curiosity is a bridge. Curiosity is the bridge that is going to help you to start walking from fear to love. And that can take 10 seconds, that can take 10 weeks, and again, this path's not linear. It can go back and forth until you start living more here, until you retrain your body to live in this space. But curiosity asks different questions. When you're in a place of survival and fear, usually the questions that are in your mind are questions like, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with the world? What's wrong with people? You are in a place of blaming. I've been there. I know you're not choosing to be a victim, but we get stuck in archetypes here. You're going to think 
you're not gonna just blame the external world world the worst part you're going to blame yourself and when you blame yourself you're gonna go deep in a place of guilt and shame which keeps you here in survival when there's no need for you to be in survival because you have resources so curiosity asks different questions curiosity asks what would it be like to start moving towards love what would it be like to take a course in how to release my emotions from the past what would it be like to start healing these wounds that i'm holding from the past or what would it be like to start saying a mantra every day what's possible for me what's possible god show me what is possible in and if the word God doesn't resonate, use the word love, consciousness, it doesn't matter. It's about getting out of your own body, getting out of your own egoic mind and start asking questions that move you forward, questions that energize you. See the difference. I want you to do a test. Just right now, you can even pause the video after, the, after I give the instructions. Tell yourself, what's wrong with me that I can't get the X, Y, and Z? What's wrong with me? Now try this, what's possible for me? What would it be like if I shift my attention from fear to love? What would it be like to wake up every day and live in a state of creation? What would it be like? Notice your body going for low, notice the opening, test it, pause this video and ask the negative question, what's wrong with me? And then go, what is possible for me? when I live in a place of creation. See what happens. That's what I'm talking about. Frequencies, vibration. When you're in creation, you are in a state of love where you insightful, intuitive, creative. How can you spark your creative mind? And the cool thing about being creative, which happens with curiosity here in curiosity, you bringing back your essence of innocence, your playfulness, you get to the state of flow. It's no longer about, I have to figure things out. It's more about, let me open myself and see what guidance comes to me. What guidance comes to me? In this new paradigm, it's not about pushing and trying harder anymore. It's not working and people are really spiraling because of this. Everything is changing and this is a good thing. And this is why I was called, guided to share this video with you. Stop working hard stop trying number three is another c word conscious awareness now conscious awareness is what is going to be required for you to keep moving if you take one little step at the time you're going to need to train yourself to stay in this state of creation. The force of fear is very strong in our collective, especially right now, pre-election is very strong. A lot of people just saw somebody and she said, how are you? And she said, I'm scared, which is absolutely normal. Being in the zone of creation, let me be clear. Being in the zone of creation is not about toxic positivity. It's not about only good vibes. It's not about only light. Being in the zone of genius expands our container, expands our ability to actually feel our emotions because in this journey here, guess what? You're going to be healing. You're going to be transforming, especially if you're working with a, with a trauma informed life coach like myself or a therapist, you're going to start releasing anything that is holding fear. That's why this journey across the line is not that easy always it gets hard because it requires purification here as you move you're going to start releasing all the patterns the thoughts imprints yours from your parents from your grandparents that hold the frequency of fear that's why having a good guide is very helpful in this journey but conscious awareness is necessarily here because otherwise you're going to take one step forward and then two back one far and back because the power of the, the force, I should say, the force of the collective fear is very strong. Think of a, a, like a, a magnetic, a strong magnetic pull pulling you down. Especially as you start expanding yourself, opening yourself, making more room for light, making more room for creation, you're going to be seduced at times by 
the fear and you want to come back. And that's normal. That's why this path sometimes is more like this. Until you more consistent, consistent right here. It's not linear. It's not linear at all. The path of transformation is more like this. It's a spiral. So you feel sometimes that you're going to the same place, but you're not. As you keep walking with conscious awareness, you start moving. And yes, you might encounter fear here. You encounter fear here. You encounter fear here. But it doesn't mean you back down. With good guidance, with good awareness, you actually going to encounter fear along, always, all the way. I'm not free of fear. I just, because I live more in the state of creation, I'm able to see with my fear and diffuses very quickly, very quickly, because the light gets bigger and it diffuses the darkness. So you're going to encounter fear many places. You're going to even encounter anger many places. But with good guidance, good teachings, good practices, this is how the healing journey looks like. It's a spiral. It's always a spiral. It's not a straight line. And sometimes you're going to feel like you're coming down, but you're not really. You're just hitting another layer. And yeah, there are people that interrupt this process because they don't have enough stamina to keep going, enough courage. That's why studying with, with teachers, sound teachers, mystics, having good therapists and coaches can really help in this journey because it gets tough at times. So this is the frame I want to share with you. I was guided choice, make a choice to make this change, be curious and have conscious awareness so you don't go back to trance. So what happens when you're back there in fear, you catch yourself. And what is key in this process of conscious awareness is for you to slow down. Because if you keep rushing, moving fast, you're going to be back on the patterns. Just like if you were learning a new skill, you have to move very consciously. If you're walking a new terrain, an uncharted terrain, you will pause, you study the terrain, you move slow to get to know the area. It's the same thing. A lot of people, most people have not been here much. So it's like stepping to the unknown to a new territory. But let me tell you something, friends. Your heart and your soul know this blueprint very, very well. It's like going back home. It's heaven on earth. It's like going back home. So whatever it takes, cross the line. If I can support you when you're ready to make this transition, to really make a choice with all sincerity, help me to support you. I'm taking your clients. Send me a message and please share this video because I think it can help a lot of people. We must get out of survival and get in creation because all world needs us in our creative, in our genius zone. Thank you so much.